I have vision, no, I believe I know I can count on me So stand up for the champions, for the champions Stand up, stand up, stand up For the champions, for the champions Stand up for the champions Analyze the popularity and campaign of the K State Mass success on our campus using Malcolm Gladwell's Tipping Point book. Three concepts used from the book were Law of the Few, Power of Context, and Stickiness Factor. The Law of the Few states the success of any kind of social epidemic is heavily dependent on the involvement of people with a particular and rare set of social gifts meaning that people posting the video acted as connectors according to Gladwell by spreading the epidemic of the K-State mask. One of my fellow students showed me on YouTube. I think he represents K-State fantastically. He's hilarious, he has a great sense of humor, and I think he does a fantastic job. Yeah, Twitter. His YouTube video. Twitter. Um, I didn't know what to think about it at first, but as he kept putting out videos, I got to like him a lot more. And now I think it's really awesome and really funny. I think that he is a good representation of all the passion that K-State fans have. I think he's hilarious and he shows a lot of school spirit, and K-State has a lot of school spirit, so I think he's a good representation of it. The power of context states epidemics are sensitive to the conditions and circumstances of the times and places in which they occur, meaning that the great football season by K-State plus the timing of the mask's release of videos equaled a successful epidemic. Um, actually, my student employees told me about it, so we went to YouTube and looked it up. I think the first one I saw was the West Virginia game, which was the funniest. Well, I can um, separate it from athletic, K-State athletics, and I think it's all done in good fun, so I don't see anything wrong with it, but I can understand why athletics, K-State athletics wouldn't want to be tied to it because others will think then that they have the same feelings. Uh, found out about the K State mask from uh, Facebook. A friend of mine put it on Facebook, and I clicked on it and subscribed to his YouTube channel from there. I think the K State mask is a good representation of the the school spirit that the university has um, in terms of the support for um, our football team. I think that it's all done fun, and it's it's just a great effort for him to put that type of time to uh, record the things that he does. Well, one big push for the university right now is the K-State brand, you know, and brand management is very important to the university, to the 2025 plan, and, and also to athletics. And uh, we have one, uh, I mean, I know you probably remember the EcoCat fiasco from, from last year, two years ago. You know, we have one um, mascot for the university. We have one voice that comes from athletics, and he's just not um, a proved source of, of um of the school spirit, I guess, at the university. I'm not certain if they have issues with him, but they can't form, with all the things that they're doing to push for brand management for the university, it'd be hypocritical of them to accept him at this point. Facebook. I think he's a K-State fan. He obviously promotes K-State, and he's a supporter, and he gets other people excited about K-State, so I think he is a representation of K-State, maybe not the best. Um, and I can see why people would be concerned about some of the things that he said that have been negative. Um, maybe not the most sportsmanship-like, but I can understand that, um, yeah, people wouldn't necessarily like that about it. Um, I think that it's hard to want to endorse something when it's just an individual, um, that you can't control what they say or do or their actions. It's no different than any other fan that might be on the sidelines doing something crazy at a game. Um, I think it's important for a university to understand what they endorse, it's kind of a fine line, um, what they can and cannot control in the public, and I think it would just be best that they not get involved in that at all and just let a fan be a fan. I actually saw his link on the Facebook page of a friend. I think any fan that actually um, is that in tune to what's going on in K-State and no matter how they do it, if they're representing us, I think it's a good representation. Well, I think they're just trying to play the safe card, which I don't blame them for doing that as well, because you can't be responsible as a university for the acts of an individual. Um, even if you, if, like I said, I think it's a good thing myself personally, but that doesn't mean that the university thinks that his representation um, reflects everything that we have going on here at the university as well.
The stickiness factor enhances the effective retention of the education content in a tandem with its entertainment value. That means the entertainment factor in the videos plus the content of the video equals a social epidemic. Hi, I'm Morgan Burns, and I play cornerback for the Kansas State Wildcats. Let's start over Facebook. Uh, all the links and people sharing stuff on Facebook. And, and I know if you look at Coach Snyder and Kansas State, we're all about family and uh, respecting our, our opponents. And so uh, I would say he's reflecting Kansas State very well. The next responses are from the mask himself. Answer to number one, I do. I feel the fan base would rally around me whether we were winning or losing. I try my best to stay motivated and loud and proud for the fans. Answer to number two, yes. I think it's easy for students to rally around things they can relate to. A lot of students talk smack about teams, but at the same time, I try to come up with original stuff. Answer to number three, I was extremely pumped for the upcoming football season and I had the mask lying around. I put it on and had my fiance start videoing me just to have some fun. It has totally blown me away with all of the support I have received and it makes me so happy to be a part of Iman Nation. Answer to number four, it was definitely student and fan driven. People liked what we were doing and talked about it to their friends and family, alum, current players, and students. When we asked the athletic department for an interview, they replied with an email stating that they had been approached to partner with the actor in the videos but declined. They also asked the actor and the 502 Productions to refrain from using K-State branding or logos in the video. So, what did we learn? One, connectors are a huge reason epidemics are successful. Two, timing was key in this social epidemic. Three, the content of a message determines the success tremendously. For the champions, for the champions, stand up.